So this is... Are, are, we, are we running Jungle Bloodseeker in this game then? Like, would he switch himself into that? When you look up towards the top, there's a Nightmare gonna come off right now. The arrow's gonna fly up, Harney. The initiation's gonna be there. You're right, the bottom lane, the first blood will be Owie. While up on top lane, Harney will also go down. The Nightmare, the support on the way, and that's gonna be already Fader. Jumps up and he got Silas, but he's gonna brawl down. Come with me. The Silas not helping off the, the brains out from Highlight Eye, in fact, giving him the kill. He's not level 6 yet, no, uh, well, Nightmare's still on cooldown. The arrow flies up too short. With the clamp, Harney, split, Nightmare's available. In fact, uh, well, Harney, he cancels his TP to try and fight this one. And what is happening with these TPs from Fnatic? Harney's actually gonna get killed off by the rest of his teammates. The Broommaster split also came off. So even if the Ramage was remotely in range there, it wouldn't be enough. Pardite, Nightmare protects himself from the tower. He's ticking himself down, seven life points, someone attack him. He just commits suicide, and Boogie watched him the entire time. Bone 7 comes up, there's no Kraken shell, but there's no thrilling stun. Bone 7 gonna pick up the kill. Me. Match. Look at the goal lead. Uh, Trixie. The hard I weighed that one out. I think Trixie realized after he started this TP that Nightmare was still available. He's in field up for the moment. Looks like Harney's having a little bit of trouble with the Brewmaster. While on bottom lane, Owie, he comes in to help him out. The Sprout will come up, but. Oh. They still. Do a tower. But they can't even achieve that. And they're losing so much money across the board. Yeah, they before the Tinker gets day and they lack burst damage. If you look to their lineup, like they need the Dagon to really get these kills. They're gonna jump. Bone Seven just picked up an Invis right, so they clap. They're looking to come with me, and then the arrow connects perfectly. Boog is the only one that now has a stun here, and that's gonna be the Ravage. And is there another controlling ability? Well, just the damage. Those two items, everyone started rushing that shit. Yep. Uh, around like the summit and Trixie. before. Dead. Nightmare, support's coming over if someone wants to take it. The Steam's gonna be there too. The tree actually took off the Nightmare and wonderful ravage by Boogie. Catching up all heroes with the Martian Machines. It's a double kill for Martum. And Trix is still gonna try and man fight this one. Eternal Envy makes his way in there, killing off couriers at the same time. In fact, that was two sets of couriers going down at the moment. No, it's just a die courier going down. Harney, Fissure Block. Trying to buy some space, the wolves are still there, and the Brewmaster split. He jumped up to the high ground, 16 life points, the Necro units and the wolves try to chase him down, but they could not reach. Again, it's Tinker, you know, going to delay this game more and more because it's hard for Cloud9 to just run in because of March spam. So, looks, looks like our little buddy Roshan's up. Uh, he's going to go there and do it. Uh, bottom lane. Yeah, here she dies. This is an attempt to snipe out the T1 tower. Look out there, check out there. Yeah, Envy, Echo Slam. There it is from Cumberby, but how effective is it? It's enough to kill off Envy at least. Unless uh, I, mean, unless I got the change log wrong on that. Wait, what? Oh, no, the rupture effect, it just... Rupture is going to affect it, just makes it even worse because if you move the slap fast to like some small area. But if you have BKB up and anyways. running, oh, bottom lane. Tinker, uh, just quick blink in from Pilot Eye. Instantly into the Fiend's grip, and then with Fader following up with Clap. And Jeeva's guard, they get the pick off. Brewmaster also just puts himself a BKB while come with me. Being stinged up, arrowed up, and then hit by stars. There's also that nightmare over on Tidehunter. Fader jumps in for the clap. That's a big hit with the Drunken Brawler connection. They've also got the weave effect going into Boogie. Need just a little bit more damage. Mirana trying to stick with it and pile it out. Hey, whoa! He's going in a long way for this one. The nightmare, then Jeeva's got a clap. Envy's away to safety, and with a with the Reaver on his back, he's a very difficult hero to kill off. He's trying to get to the pace through, and now he's got it. And he's away. While the Nightmare's over on the Earth Shaker, so no fidget control from him. Nightmare taken off by one of the treants, and well, Pilot died trying to juke it up, but then realized the fader was there. Pilot going for the fiend strip, but he can't stand his ground here. The Brewmaster will buy back. Enfeebles into Trixie. Shallow Grave as well. It bought him time to go for a quick brain snap. The Ravage will be triggered in by Boogie, catching three heroes out, including Eternal Envy. But Eternal Envy is right next to Kawami. They're inside the Moonlight Show, so we didn't realize it was Holy there. Shit. And what are you doing in the river, man? Yes, he had, he had literally negative, like, 20 armor. He died. His entire HP went away from one panda, from one panda attack with the crit. The silence up for the moment, so he's gonna stand his ground. But the tower still takes a fall. Eternal Envy has arrived with the reinforcements of the creep wave. And they battle into the melee ranks. The train is trying to slow things down. So the fade is back again. Blink, clap, and uh, he's holding on to the split for the moment. Waiting for the right time. And then again, silence up again. He's gonna beat into Harney, the man who silenced him on Trixie. Dying in the tree lines, like up against the BK beat up Bane. Fnatic are just basically scattered across the wind. 
The Mirana will go down, but the bottom rack is still the casualty of war. They brought down the melee racks, and then MB reinserts back up through the top. The deep being two euros up here, trying to stop him, but this is Eternal MB battling with Necro units as well as Wolves. Boogie has no mana whatsoever, and there's at least your Aegis who have been triggered, but GG is in. Cloud9, they will take the victory, and they'll take the points here in the D2CL. And with that, they finally get themselves back on track to get themselves into the playoffs. They go 4-4 as their result points. They were 2-4 before they started up this series. And the Fnatic are at the bottom of the run. They're sitting at 1-3 for three so far after their second series. It's been a rough run for them, man. It's been a rough run.